Hi everyone, Dr. John Finn here. Welcome to another Tougher Mind podcast. Today I want to speak about performing under pressure in relation to England, the England cricket team's continual batting collapses. We saw another one again at the weekend and I found Sir Alistair Cook, who is England's highest test match run scorer, found his commentary really interesting on this. When he listens, uh, when he speaks, rather, I listen because he's so experienced and he, and he's been there and done it and talked a lot about how he developed such a mentally robust game. Speaking about England's current batting or latest batting collapse, he said, when the pressure comes on mentally, they are not handling it. And he talked about the difference in pressure between county cricket where these young England batsmen have been performing so well and how the pressure at te in test match level cricket is so different, it's so much more intense. Now, Alistair Cook is a real habit mechanic. He's a guy that's worked on himself again and again and again. And it's easy to look at someone like Alistair Cook and think, well, no, you're wrong, John. He's just a natural. He was just talented and it all came easy to him, which is why he became England's best ever batsman. Well, no according to Alistair Cook... Here's a quote from the great man himself. He says, or he said, all the greats have hard work in common. I haven't been given a talent that makes me better than anyone else. I have made the difference by working hard. And at the weekend, he was talking about how this presents, this, this current sequence of poor performances presents a great opportunity for young English batsmen to come through and shine and to show that they can learn how to get better at performing under pressure. But as Alistair Cook said, they have to front up and they have to admit that I've got a mental problem here, that when the pressure comes on, it affects my thinking in a negative way and that goes on to affect my batting performance so I would say that the young England, England batsmen need to be trained to become habit mechanics and the first thing we need to train those young England batsmen to understand is how their brain works and just something as simple as the lighthouse brain model which is the simplest way we explain the brain helping them to understand that there is almost a lighthouse in their brain and there are two characters that live in the lighthouse. The first character is Hugh, which stands for horribly unhelpful emotions. The other character is Wilhelmina Power or Willpower. And Hugh's main job is to use the beam of light from the lighthouse to search and scan for threats and problems and worries and I'm sure in those, uh, some of the England batsmen's minds, they are, they, are, they are worrying about what's gone in the past and their maybe past dismissals, worrying about the future, what happens if I don't perform today. And just understanding that our brains are wired to do that is really, really helpful. And also understanding that you have this other character that lives in there called Wilhelmina Power or Willpower, and it's Willpower's job to coach Hugh and to help Hugh to do better. And it's, I find it really interesting that Alistair Cook actually had a good understanding of, of his brain. He, he actually called what we call Hugh, he called it the gimp. And he talked about how the gimp would, you know, put all these unhelpful thoughts into his, into his brain, often as the, as the, the, the bowler was running in to, to, to bowl at him. But how he learned to manage that and that's the second phase of, 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 of training that the young England batsmen need is they, learn how, they need to learn how to manage it and ultimately how to, how to develop better thinking habits and this is quite a complex thing and ho hopefully in the England cricket team's environments they have very experienced uh, psychology people who can help them to actually build better thinking habits um, this is an area that I've done an awful lot of, of work in. I've, I've worked extensively in cricket from the most elite levels, but actually all, all the way through the age grades. Um, and I, I created a tool called the Pre-Shot Training System, which is one of the tools that we used to use to actually help batsmen to think more effectively 
when they were batting and, and to build better um, thinking habits, yeah, essentially, before jawing and, and as they were hitting the cricket ball. And I think there's a, there's a couple of challenges for the young England batsmen. I think one is that sports like cricket uh, and, and, and batting, particularly in cricket, there's a danger that people can become overly technical and they can think too much about their technique. It's just the way that we coach now in, in, in cricket, in, in sports like cricket and, and golf and the sport I'm familiar with, where we, where we can, we have the technology to really break down the technique of people. And if that's done in the wrong way, it can be really unhelpful because if you're trying to bat well, you want your movement to be fluid and very automatic. And actually thinking too much about your technique, knowing too much about your technique, it deautomates the fluency of your shots. So your movement becomes clunkier, it's not as accurate, it slows down. And of course, just slowing down a, a cricket shot by a fraction of a second at the highest level can mean the difference between you know, hitting, hitting the four or the six or, or, or getting out. And... I think this is a real problem and, and one that some of the, the, the batsmen might need to address. I think another problem they're going to face is that often when we think about performing better under pressure, we think there's a magic tool that's called mental skills training, and that's just not the case. Uh, those of you that ha are habit mechanics and have, have done our training programmes will know about the nine action factors model. And this describes, this use, uses behavioural science to describe the nine core things that we need to activate in order to help us to build better thinking habits. Now, mental skills is just one of those nine factors. In order to ha actually help the, the batters to build better thinking habits, they need to activate all the, other, all the other factors as well. So I really hope that the people working with the young England batsmen have a good insight not only into neuroscience and how the brain works but actually into behavioral science as well so that they can not only help the the batsmen understand what they need to do but they can actually help them to build better habits when the pressure is on because that's ultimately the difference between the guys that make it at test cricket and the guys that don't the guys that make it have better thinking habits under pressure. And it's difficult to develop those if you don't understand neuroscience and behavioural science. And unfortunately, the way that we train our sports psychologists, you know, by and large, they, they don't learn too much about those things. Um, so hopefully the England cricket team do have some people in their environment that, that do understand those things. So I think this is just a, a really interesting part of the journey we're seeing of some really young, talented um, people that are at a really crunch point of their career, where if they want to become successful test players and play at the highest level of their sport, they have to now front up and recognise that they are not as good as they need to be at thinking under pressure. But the good news is, is that we can all learn to do that better. And I've seen this time and time again, where you teach people these insights, you teach them how their brain works in a, in a simple, understandable way, and you teach them how to build better thinking habits using, the, in, in my case, using tools like the, the pre-shot training program, and, and also using our nine action factor model to help them to move from knowing to doing to actually building habits. People can learn how to, how to perform better under pressure. So if the young batsmen are prepared to put the work in, but also they've got the people around them with the right knowledge to help them to learn the right things, then they're gonna, they're gonna be able to um, do better under pressure and they're gonna be able to start fulfilling their potential However, they need to have the people around them that actually know how to help them to, to do this. So that, that bit's not really in their control. 
or I suppose you could argue it. I suppose you could argue it is in their control because if they don't feel the people around them are helping them in the right way, they can go find, you know, alternative people to help them. But all these guys can learn how to do better. That's the exciting thing, and the challenge now is to put the kind of work in that they need to put in to actually learn the new thinking habits that they need to learn to help them to go into the the Indian Test series if if they're given the opportunity and show that they can perform under pressure and that they have learned you know how to do it so th- this is the beauty of sport isn't it is that we don't always win every single thing and we, and we see performances a- across the spectrum some that are fantastic some that are not so good but they all provide talking points uh, and from my personal perspective I'm just I'm just interested in helping people do better and I'm really hoping that these young England cricketers are able to put the right type of training in to allow them to to move towards fulfilling their potential and ultimately to become habit mechanics. And if you're wondering what a habit mechanic is, well, you can learn to be a level one habit mechanic for absolutely free. Just go to our website and you can learn more about that. Um, So it's a free training program that we offer I want as many people to become habit mechanics as possible because I think it not only is going to make your life easier, but you're going to help. You're going to be able to help other people to do better as well, and that's so important in, in the current uh, situation. So anyway, there are just a few reflections on elite sport, performing under pressure, um, learning from the greats, but also learning from from the neuroscience and the behavioural science, and hopefully seeing some young people now go on to fulfill their potential thanks for listening guys lots more podcasts coming so until then take care and stay safe bye for now 